Meteorologist Chelsea Ingram joins us now, and we've been looking at a string of 90s in oh, our future, and excessive heat, right? That's mm -hmm. right, and more to come. Unfortunately, two headlines, we're talking about the heat and also some severe thunderstorms mm -hmm. that I'm tracking. We'll talk all about that. Let's start you off with a look at temperatures officially across the region today. High temperatures that were well into the 90s. Man, look at this. We made it to 96 degrees in Atlantic City officially. In Philadelphia, right around 95. That's well above our average high of 87. 95 in Trenton and Allentown, mid 90s. And then in Reading and Wilmington, the official high temperature today was right around to 93 degrees. As I said, there's more to come. That excessive heat warning remains in place through 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. We could see heat index values upwards of the triple digits, possibly even up to around 105 in some locations across the Delaware Valley, particularly around Philadelphia. So some very warm air even in place at this point in time. We're still in the 90s, 94 degrees in Philadelphia. It's 92 in Wilmington. We're in the upper 80s now in Millville. Wildwood at 89 degrees. It's 92 degrees in Atlantic City and down the shore. Uh, temperatures a little bit more comfortable for places like Ocean City where we have 84 degrees. That sounds really good right about now. You factor in the combination of heat and humidity and of course it still feels so much warmer out there. Feels really hot in Philadelphia, 98 degrees and then into uh, into New Jersey it feels more like the triple digits for Millville Atlantic City it feels like 103 degrees the heat in the index values will continue to climb as we head into tomorrow still looking at triple digits for your Friday Saturday not much in the way of relief but 96 degrees that's what it's going to feel like as we head into the afternoon we also have a severe thunderstorm watch that has been issued until 10 p.m. tonight for Philadelphia and counties on toward the north and that is for this very strong line of storms that we are tracking making its way into the the Poconos at this point in time. We're talking about very strong winds associated with these storms, and we even have severe thunderstorm warning in place for Carbon and Monroe counties. This is until 6.30 p.m. Wind gusts upwards of around 60 miles per hour. We could even see some quarter size hail. We might even be seeing some right around uh, Mount Pocono at this point in time. So as far as tracking these storms, between about 8 and 10 p.m., we could see a rumble of thunder right here in Center City, but I think after about 10, 11 o'clock tonight, things really quiet down. We'll start out your day on Friday with partly cloudy skies and then plenty of sunshine into the afternoon, but it is going to be a scorcher. So it's imperative that you find a way to cool yourself off, get inside, get in the air conditioning, go see a movie, perhaps head to the library or the mall. Just find a way to get some relief from the heat or go down the shore. Sunshine, hot sand as we head into tomorrow, 90 degrees, 87 as we head into Saturday. We will have the risk for a shower or thunderstorm as we move into the weekend. Here's your forecast for tonight. An overnight low temperature around 78, so very little relief, muggy and warm. Heading into tomorrow, a high temperature of 96. Day Dangerous heat with sunshine. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast looks like this. As we head into the weekend, we're still talking 90s in the forecast, so really not much in the way of relief from the heat. 93 degrees on Sunday. We could have some strong storms, by the way, on Saturday night. Monday, 90 degrees with a thunderstorm chance. As we head into Tuesday, finally, this is where you're going to find the relief. Everyone is going to be so happy. 83 <laughs> degrees. And then by Wednesday, honestly, that is my pick of the next seven oh, days, and I am Ooh. so looking forward to that. Uh, rejoice. Yeah. All right. Heat wave. I'm over it. Me too. Totally <laughs> over it.